What's up guys and welcome back to Software Delusions and today we're talking about Call of Duty Warzone 2 and its latest updates. Now something that's very important that I do want to go over is this over here. If you are running Windows 11 right now at this very moment, you might see performance loss in Warzone 2, Modern Warfare 2 and just in general in other games as well because there's performance issues with Windows 11. So if you are a Windows 11 user and you're seeing performance loss I've had lots of comments and people sending me emails that they don't know what's going on. They've tried everything. And the one thing I would always tell them is try reverting to Windows 10. You could go back to Windows 10. I mean, Windows 10 isn't outdated yet. Um, I'm still using it perfectly fine and there's nothing wrong with it. And there isn't performance issues because it took them a little while to get Windows 10 to where it is. So it's going to take them a little while to get Windows 11 to where it should be. Okay, so that's something I just want to point out. So I'm not saying you need to redo your Windows or whatever, but just look into this. You can go onto this website. I will send the link to this web page, or you can just go and Google the fixes for Windows 11 so you won't get performance losses inside your games that you're currently playing. All right, let's jump straight into this optimization for the latest update for Call of Duty Warzone 2. All right, so the first thing I highly recommend you go ahead and do is this over here. You're going to go to your file explorer and you're going to go to documents. Call of Duty, Players, and then this one over here that says Options3.COD22, right? You're going to double click on this, open this up with any notepad or any editing software that you can actually type with and scroll all the way down. Now, right here at this bottom part where it says Render a Work Account. Now, at this very moment, I'm halving my cores. I have an 8-core, eight 8-thread eight CPU. It's a 9700K, so I put 4 here. Now, right now, at this very moment, a lot of people are leaving me different comments, and I just want you to know this. If you're hearing my voice and you're listening to me right now, hear out the people that's leaving the comments as well. Also, go read the comments. A lot of people have said to me that putting their total cores there, like, for instance, I have eight cores, eight total cores, not performance cores, your total cores, not your threads, your total cores, okay? Lots of people are saying if they put their total cores there, they get more performance out of Warzone 2, and I do recommend that you go ahead and play around with this. So you could go with half your cores. So it depends on what type of CPU you have. Okay, so you go with half. If you see performance loss, then go with your total cores. And that's all you need to do. And once you have edited it to its total cores or half its cores, you're just going to go to file over here and you're going to go to save. You're just going to do that. And for me right now, at this very moment with my 9700K, I half my cores and I do more performance. So I'm going to save it like this and then I save it. All right, let's jump straight into the next step. All right, so something I do want to point out that's very, very important that a lot of people have left me comments on is this over here. I'm just going to show you how to do this. You're going to go to your settings in general, and you're going to go to privacy, and you're going to scroll all the way down to where you see it says background apps. Now, at this very moment with Windows 10, it's very easy to switch these things off because all you're going to need to do is go like this and turn them all off, and you don't need like individual ones to be on because you can literally turn it off and then whatever you want to use inside here you can just go search it or click on it you don't have to let it run in the background because what it's going to do is it's going to use resources like your ram your cpu and it could also use or impact your vram usage so it will say other apps in call of duty at the bottom right when you go to your settings now turn this off it will actually decrease the vram usage by a slight bit not by a lot because this background apps don't use a lot but it does depend on what you have installed on your machine as well this is the only things i have installed your machine might have way more things installed onto it turn them off i highly recommend that you go ahead and do this all right, from here, what you're going to need to do is click on the home button over here, and you're going to go to gaming over here, and you're going to go to game mode. Now, right now, at this very moment, a lot of people are saying that having game mode on is the best way of going about the new update, so I recommend leaving this on. Go ahead and leave it on, okay? You can try turning it off at your own personal preference. It does depend on your machine. It really does depend on your specific machine. If you're running a Ryzen machine, if you're running an Intel machine, if you're running AMD graphics card, GeForce graphics card, it, it really depends on your specific machine, okay? From here, you need to go to graphics settings. Now, something I want to point out is this. I had a lot of people saying in my comments that, yo, dude, I feel that when this is off, I get more performance. Now, this is a thing. Go ahead and turn this off. It might ask you to restart your PC. Since mine's off, if I turn it on, it will ask me to restart my PC. But if it was on and I turn it off, it will also ask me to restart my machine. 
I highly recommend that you go ahead and turn off hardware accelerated GPU scheduling. It does help with stuttering inside the game. Trust me, it does help with stuttering. And I highly recommend you go ahead and turn this off right now because I'm getting lots of comments and emails and personal messages asking me about this option over here. And then also this over here as well. I've removed every single game inside here. Then I have comments asking me, yo, dude, how do I remove it? If you're on Windows 10 like me, and let's just say I'm going to add something. Let's just add COD inside here, right? So I add COD. You're literally just going to click on it. That's all you're going to do. I'm going to go back just to show you. Go to graphic settings. You click on it and go to remove. Because lots of people have this in here. They go to options. They put it on high performance and say save. What this is going to do is it might give you stuttering inside the game. And you don't want that. So if you want to remove those stuttering, just click on remove so it removes it completely. I highly recommend you go ahead and do this. Please go ahead and do that. Once you're done with that, you're going to click back and then you're going to click on home and then you'll be over here. Now, something that's very, very important that I want to mention that I haven't mentioned in my previous videos is this over here. If you have apps installed on your machine like this, okay, it's just taking a while because I have a lot of shit installed on my machine. If you have apps installed that you don't need, go ahead and uninstall them, please go ahead and uninstall them. Don't uninstall these. Microsoft stuff. Don't uninstall them. Don't uninstall random shit, but uninstall things you don't need that you don't use. Uninstall them. Things that you don't use, go ahead and uninstall them. Please go ahead and do that. Once you're done with that, you're going to go to startup and this will actually help your machine start up much faster as well. So your machine will feel much faster. As you can see, the only things that I have on is this over here. So that, this, and then that. And then I've got my Bitdefender, which is my antivirus program that I'm running. So the rest of the things are all off because you are going to select them to open them up. You don't need them to start up while your machine boots. Every time you restart your computer or boot your machine, if you have all of these things on, they're all going to open in the background and run in the background as well. You don't want things running in the background. Please go ahead and turn them off and you will see an increase in speed of performance in your machine, not just with the startup, but with your machine in general as well. All right, let's jump straight into the next step. All right, so the next step I do recommend you go ahead and do is this over here, your C drive, okay? It might be an SSD, it might be an M.2, it might be a hard drive, whatever the case might be, go ahead and go right click on it, say properties and come inside the properties for disk C, your local disk C where your Windows is on. From here, you're going to go to error checking. You're going to click on check and let it scan the drive itself and let it see if there's any files on your machine that's missing or corrupt or something's wrong with Windows's files. This does happen over time. It does happen over time. So please just go ahead and try this out. Just test it. See if there's anything wrong. If there isn't anything wrong, you're good to go. And then you know that your local disk C where your Windows is on is running perfectly fine because that could also be a cause of an issue where your games don't launch, you get crash errors, your games crash to the desktop randomly, and this is a fix for that. So I highly recommend you go ahead and check this out. And there we go. Your drive was successfully scanned. Windows successfully scanned the drive. No errors were found. All right. So if you do find errors, it will try and fix it. So please go ahead and do this. All right. Let's jump straight into the next step. All right, so the next step I do recommend you do is this over here, okay? I do it every day when I sit in front of my computer. Is this over here. You're going to press the Windows key in R and then open this up and you're going to type in Shift 5 for the percentage symbol, type in Temp, Shift 5 for the percentage symbol and press Enter and then open this up. You're going to click on anything, press Control and A. As you can see, this Activision. What you can do is these are like error dumps and stuff like that that's going to lay inside here. Go ahead and delete them, all right? So you just say Delete, say do this for all kind of items, right? So you're just going to say Try again. Once that's done, you're going to click on this again, do this for all kind of items and say Skip because Windows is currently using these files over here. I can't delete them, okay? Once you're done with that, you're gonna press the Windows key in R again, and this time you're going to just type in temp, just like this, and press enter. Click on anything inside here, press Control and A, and then just delete on your keyboard and say continue. Now, as you can see, this file can't be deleted because Windows is currently using it. Once you're done with that, you're gonna do the same thing again one more time. Press the Windows key in R, and you're going to type in prefetch, just like this, and press enter, and say continue. Click on anything, Control and A, highlight everything, delete on your keyboard, and then delete everything. As you can see, it just cleared out everything. Once you're done with that, you're going to need to do this. I'm just going to move my recycling bin to my desktop. You're going to right click on this and say empty recycling bin and say yes. Now you might 
have not done this in a very long time. So you could be deleting like 40 gigs, 100 gigs of just bullshit that's on your machine. All right, ladies and gentlemen, something that's very, very important is this over here. I'll leave a link in the description down below for this web page. You're going to scroll all the way down. And then this is what Call of Duty is recommending you to run as an NVIDIA user. And then this is what you need to run as an AMD user. These are the best drivers to run right now. But if you are perfectly fine with the latest version, which is 531.18, if you're running your game perfectly fine like this then go ahead and leave it on this latest version if not roll back your driver to this if you are an nvidia user you can literally just click on this it will take you to the web page and you can go ahead and download it if you're an amd user you just click on this and then you select your gpu go ahead and download the latest drivers i do recommend that you go ahead and do this if you are losing fps with the latest version of your gpu drivers all right let's jump straight into the game all right, ladies and gentlemen, as you can see, I'm in my game right now, and I do still recommend these over here for people out there that wants performance out of their game, okay? So, obviously, we're going to have this at custom, this at 100%, okay? Always at 100%. You do not want your game to look like this. You want it to look like that. So, do not downscale it, okay? Yeah, there is people that has really bad machines, um, okay? So, then you could downscale this to maybe like 90, maybe 95, don't go anything lower than 90. Your game's going to look like absolute dog shit. Don't do that. Okay? If your machine's perfectly fine with running this at 100%, leave it at 100%. Please leave it there. Don't change it. I'm running my game on Fidelity FX Cache with its latest updates for Warzone 2 right now at 60% always. That was always my sweet spot and will always be my sweet spot. It will depend on your monitor what you're going to put this on, okay? Anti-analyzing, I always have this at Filmic SMAA T2 times and I will always leave it there because the game looks slightly worse with this over here if you've got a really bad gpu or a really bad system you can go with sma at two times i do know a lot of people don't have the best of machines neither do i i don't have the best of machine anyways anti-analyzing i always have this at ultra quality so the game actually looks and just feels a little bit better in general but the quality looks insane if you have this at ultra quality the reason why i have video memory scale at 90 percent is because i have this at normal high high and then high if you're going to start changing this down to low and you put this at maybe normal you put this at low and you put this at low then you're going to downscale this to about let's say 60 or 70. if you're going to go even lower than that so everything low this also on low then go all the way to 50 percent now, the reason why I'm saying I leave mine at 90 is because I push these things up, okay? So, I leave them like this, and this is how I leave it, okay? And this is perfect for me while I'm playing my games. Now, something that's very, very important is this over here. The background apps I showed you earlier on that you need to go ahead and switch off. Look how much I'm using. 876 megabytes there's people out there making optimized videos for this game fps boost guides where this thing is at 2000 megs that means that their machines running two gigs of vram in the background and they're not even playing their game yet so please just take that little bit of information that i showed you in the beginning of the video it will help you out tremendously please go ahead and do that all right i have this at short I have particle quality at high because there's no physical difference between these two. When you put it at low, it actually goes to 2712. If you put it at high, it goes to 2704. So I leave this at high right now. Particle quality level at low, bullet impacts and spray on on. This damage layers, you can either keep it off or on at your own personal preference. All right. Shader quality at low. You do not need this to be at high so your gun skin looks good. Your gun skin will still look good at low. Leave it at low. Tessellation off. You do not need this for the love of fuck. Don't put this on. Just leave it fucking off. All right. Terrain memory, I leave it at max right now. It was either minimum or max. Now there's a medium setting. I don't recommend it. I recommend going with max right here. On demand text streaming, I'm not going to get into this. I'm going to make this video way too long. Let's go over that. All right. Streaming quality, low. Volumetric quality, I have this normally at medium, but I changed it down to low because of season two, and they have changed a little bit of the quality in the game itself, and I lose a little bit of FPS, like 5 to 67 FPS if I put this at medium, so I put this at low now, all right? So physics quality at low, water, just completely turn off the water, for the love of fuck, turn water off, you don't need to see the fucking water in the game. Yeah, it's pretty cool to, like, you know, have the water look nice, but it's an FPS hogger, it eats your frames and you don't want that that's why you're watching my video you're watching it to get better frames out of your game turn this fucking off 
I can still see the people and shoot the people underwater while this is off. So for the love of fuck, turn it off. Okay, thank you. Shadow map resolution, I have it very low. Screen space shadows at low. Spot shadow quality, I have it medium. Spot cache ultra, it gives you less input lag and it also helps with stuttering. All right. Particle lighting, I have it low. Ambient occlusion, off, 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 for the love of fuck, off. You do not need this, only if you're playing single player games, then you go ahead and turn these things on. This is a multiplayer game, it's a battle royale, don't put this on, don't be a fucking retard and put this on, because you're going to lose fucking FPS. Don't. Just leave it off, okay? Once you're done with that, you're going to come over here, where it says screen space reflections, always off. This over here, I can't tell you what to put this on, you're going to have to play around with this. I have mine at low, and it runs perfectly fine with this at low, so I leave mine at low. You can go ahead and try low or high, it's your own personal preference. Weather, for the love of fuck, you don't need to see the weather, turn it off. Don't have this on, or ultra, or whatever the fuck you want this to be on. Turn it off, you do not need to see the weather, you need to see the people in the game. Alright, cool. On plus boost, always a thing, has always been a thing, and will always be a thing, all right? Depth of field, always off. World motion blur, always off. Weapon motion blur, always off. But, for some reason with season 2, it's still a thing. If you're jumping out of the plane and you're getting stuttering, go ahead and turn this on. But the only reason why you would turn this on is if you're capping your FPS into the lobby to 60, and you're capping your game at a certain FPS, then you turn this on. If you uncap everything, then there's no point in turning this on at all, because it won't make a difference. But you can go ahead and try this out by turning this on, and then what it will do is it will help you with stuttering in the game. Film grain all the way to 0, 0.00. Once you're done with that, you're going to come over here where it says interface. I'm just going to say apply. Going to come to interface and you're going to go to color customization have this at full tattoo have this at both 100 percent 100 percent and then go to enemy and choose your specific color that you want your enemies to be all right i have mine at pink because nothing in this game is pink except gun skins so it's very easy for me to spot my enemies ladies and gentlemen if this worked for you leave a like leave a comment subscribe to the channel for your new year and as always out